a box stock body damper system for your muck frame. So I'm going to show you how to create your very own box stock body damper system. So basically what you'll need is a roll of blue Tamiya tape, scissors, your mock frame cowl. So take apart your mock frame cowl. So generally there's four parts to a mock frame body cowl. The long part, the wide part, the tail, and the front head. So what you'll need to do is take just this piece, the tail, and the head, and discard this part. Just set it aside. And what you are going to do now, I'll show you very quickly how to create one. You take the three parts. You take this, this part right here, which is the tail, and you attach it in the usual spot right there. But don't attach the wide part. You just attach the tail. And then you're going to attach the head part in a reverse way. And you're going to be attaching it with Tamiya tape right here. So I'll show you what you need to do. Now this is a fragile system. It's not foolproof. So it's going to work for a few times, and then you'll have to either retape it or make it a little sturdier, or you might have to even replace this part here. This is the actual part in which the arm, the head that's acting as an arm, swings up and down. It's gonna stay within these, the two parameter points here. So what I did here, I'll show you how to make this. So first you take the head part and you tape it onto the tail. So I'm gonna show you in these parts here what to do. This part, the end part, is going to be taped right onto the into the middle of the V right here so that it sits like so. It's going to sit so that these two legs right here are going to rest right above the tail part, this tail piece right here. So it's going to swing up and down just like this. So you need to basically tape, put a piece of tape right here along the bottom, cross and over to the top, and then a piece of tape across to hold it all down. Now this part here is a little trickier. This part here is created using the kit's box. So what I did here, very simple. I just simply use the black that was right here. So I'm gonna show you a new box right here. The black that's right on the bottom, right there. Just cut out that long rectangular strip right there. And then you can use it, see? As you see here, I cut it all out in the bottom. And then I bend it in such a way, such that it forms. It's not exactly a triangle. It's got a little bump on the top and it's wider on the bottom. But as you see here, I taped it together on the bottom. So I folded it over, taped it around in a loop, taped it down, and then I taped it across lengthwise and across widthwise to hold it in place so that this part doesn't wiggle or waggle too much. Now, you're going to be pushing this part into the long body and it's gonna go into the usual space. Now, you have to push it down tight so that it pops underneath the body. So watch this. There we go. So it's securely in the body, and as you see, it's pretty much inside the body. And now you have to readjust this a little bit so that everything is straight from here, the head, where, where it enters into the chassis right here. This is gonna be one straight line from here down to here. Okay, so you might have to readjust it a little bit, turn it slightly so that this is more or less straight. So once you have this taped in place, it's gonna look like this, and it's gonna be able to wobble up and down. And here, um, here, I wanna make sure that the legs rest on the top of the tail, that they never go below the tail, because if they go under there, it's gonna hook. It's gonna hook under this part, and you don't want the, the legs to basically go underneath the body of the tail. So here we go, here we go. So now when I insert this into the chassis, I lock it down. And what I have here is a complete system right here. You can see it from behind. It's not perfect, but it works. <laughs> and this will get bent over time. If this ever courses out, this is going to bend severely. So you might need to replace this. You might need to replace this many times over the course of the lifetime of your mock frame. So here is a little test right here. You'll see how it fares.
So yes, with a little bit of ingenuity, you too can create a body damper system for your mock frame, yes. And is this going to qualify as a box stock car? I don't know, depends on the racing event. But here's some reasons why this would actually be permissible in a box stock event. Okay, so they're telling you in the box stock rules, you cannot modify anything on the car. So technically, I didn't modify anything on this car. I added tape to it, but the tape wasn't used for any braking purposes. You could use things like sponge material underneath your contacts to prevent the contacts from bending inwards via the batteries. So if you can do things like that, why can't you add tape onto the various parts to hold them together better? Some people use super glue to super glue parts of the body together. So why isn't tape allowed? So if the box stock rules say no damper systems allowed, then definitely this would not be allowed. However, if the box stock rules do not say anything about damper systems not being allowed, this should be a permissible thing because you are using everything in the kit itself. You're using the actual box to create this. You're just adding a little bit of Tamiya tape, which would technically count as adhesive. So adhesive you can use on your cowl to adhere parts together. So here I'm just making sure that this doesn't swing like and fall off. And because if this, if this body part fell off, you're disqualified in a race. So I'm preventing the body part, this head body part from falling off by taping it down right here. And all the rest of the pieces right here, standard kit parts, mock frame. This is a box stock kit, everybody. Yay. So everybody, if you like this video, please slam the like button and subscribe to my channel. You'll see more videos just like this one. Until next time, everybody, see you. Bye.